Hello everyone, welcome to Thinkusta channel, I hope you are doing well. Here we are for a Polybridge 2 video. Today we are going to try to recreate this beautiful bridge in the game. So stick around and with no further ado, let's start building it. So here we are in the sandbox mode. Basically this bridge I think is 400 meters long. But unfortunately I think this game only allows us to build up until yeah, 250. So, I think I will do a scale down on everything, about 3 times less, and yeah, I will do the environment now, and then at the end I will show you how it went, and then I will do a brief explanation as well. So, here we are with the environment I already built it. Basically, to make it simple as possible, we're gonna have like a down board here, and the upper board here, and then an arc here to here that will sustain the middle part of the upper board and the down board and then we're gonna have two columns one here and another one here that will sustain this part of the upper board and in this side the same thing will happen besides that i just want to tell you that i added two heavy vehicles here because in reality here in the upper board is where the metro goes by but as we don't have any metro vehicle here available for us i choose to use the two heavy vehicles available to simulate the metro load so it seems fair so yeah i think that's all i want to tell you and let's start building the bridge actually let's go so this bridge is made mostly out of steel so i think i'll be only using steel in this construction but let's see i think i will start with the upper and down border just to put an up and down limit to the arc and then it's more easy to understand so let's see straight line connect here to here and fill with the road and now the bottom board so now i think we will try to do the difficult part which is the actual arc the arc is made out of steel and will have like three lines of steel one here to here one here to here and another one here to here and then this line will be connected through trusses so let's start with the first one which will be here and then we are going to try to connect this to the actual road so how we can do this maybe something like this i don't know let's see if it will be good or not so maybe now we can delete this delete this and just connect this to here and now this and connect this to here now seems seems good i don't know i'm not sure if i can if i do this or i close a little bit more the arc and connect to these points but i'm not sure let's try to do another way so again here to here and then maybe here i think and then build all right now maybe do this and this and there we go okay and then the second one here to here and let's make it more up so the idea is to be more thick here in the supports and more thin at the center so something like that Let's fill it and then the last one which will be at the bottom. Something like that. I think it seems to be the same distance. So let's fill and yeah. We are looking good. So now the idea is to connect this line to trusses. But instead of doing simple trusses like this you know like this we are going to do like axis because in real life this bridge has like axis trusses so something like this you know something like this so we are going to first connect these points and then do the axis so let's go something like that looking good okay and then we are going to do the axis Okay, yeah, seems actually really good. Let's see if it remains still when I press the play button. It should be. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, looking good actually. Beautiful. 
let's go let's keep going so the next part i think i will do the upper structure now of the upper board so it's like a trusted structure like the the art but straight now because it's a straight line so for that i think i will just put it still here sorry let me take off auto triangulate and do, sorry and do something like that i think Thing. Mm, or maybe not yeah i will have to put uh, nodes here because other than that i cannot do the axis so i think i will turn on the snap and do like this to make this node stay at the same position of the the ones that are above then I, it's more easy to do the x you know so yeah let's go now i can turn this off and just copy this to make it more fast and then here as well okay looking good so now we have to connect this to the actual arc so let's see maybe i will just leave it as it is for now and then at the end i will see if i can improve this okay so let's put this here and this here so all right and now i will do straight lines like I did in the arc and then I will do the axis so something like this and then auto snap and this okay then copy past copy past beautiful maybe i can just do this yeah seems good here as well okay let's see if it this remains still this middle part i know this will not but yeah all right i have to also do this part forgot and then i will do the bottom board which will be exactly the same as the top one but a little bit smaller i think we'll have like half of the height so let's go okay let's see now yeah seems good now i think we are going to do the columns so we are going to start with the external ones so we're gonna have like a column here and another one here and at the other side the same thing so let's start with these ones these columns they are like trusted like these elements like the upper board with axis uh, but they start more thicker at the base and they thin out to the top, you know. So they are more thicker here and more thinner here. This is the middle line, so something like, I don't know, let's see. Something like this, maybe. It will be interesting, but maybe here instead or here. All right, let's do it. And then let's do it. All right, let's just do this and turn this off and this as well. Also this and then the axis, something like this looks good. Okay, and then we should have the connection to the top. I will do a triangle, but later on I will see if I can improve because in reality we just have like a straight line. But if I do this here, this will be not stable. So it will fall off if I do like a, a straight line and connect to a node here. But yeah. I will do the triangle now and then I will see if I can improve or not. Yeah, looking good. So this one is exactly the same. Let's copy and paste. And this one, yeah, they are at the same height. So let's just copy as well. Okay, sorry. Just go back and copy. Okay, beautiful. All right, let's see. Not bad, not bad. The upper board now doesn't fall off so looks good now besides those four columns in the exterior we have like four inner columns and i think they are evenly spaced so for me to explain it better let's do something like this first then go here so in reality what we have is like straight columns you know that connect the arc to the bottom board but they are not trusted like this uh, they are trusted in this direction and so in this plane what we see is like straight lines like we are seeing here so as we cannot build in this direction this game is only 2d my idea is to inside the bridge put like cables 
to imitate that and see if it works first we have to find like the middle of the bridge which i think is this so something like here here and then something like here and here as well and then this i will delete let's see all right looking better now let's see if it can sustain all right looking good maybe we're gonna have some problems here but let's see and yep we do okay so this works so i will just make like straight lines here i will just do like straight lines about here and then connect here this to this something like that and then here as well now we have like the problem here so this length is kind of long so in reality besides uh, this structure here we have like a barrier up here to protect the the vehicles and people to fall off the bridge so maybe what i can do here is do like a barrier which is trusted uh, and do it with steel and maybe it will help sustain a little bit this weight and see if it can be enough or not so maybe i will do that like build this like turn this off and maybe three okay and then here the final one beautiful let's see now well, let's see okay it actually helped a lot so and then here oh god 97 oh no all right all right all right and then the heaviest one please 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 90 97 all right not bad so let's go back besides the this what i can do so the only thing that really are left in here is the columns that are here so in reality these two columns here this one and this one they keep up and connect with the upper board but in this case we don't need it so instead of doing like a, a real structure trusted structure because here we have like compression so we actually need to do something like that i think i will just you know uh, add another cable just to imitate that straight line that we see so maybe i will try to put this cable in this node and see if it works Works. let's see here okay actually work all right i think i will put these columns that were here in this position and put it here and then here as well and then we actually can do something like this this actually doesn't do anything it's just to imitate the real structure let me see if i can put like bars here oh maybe i can do this actually to be more even more close to reality <laughs> i'm addicted to reality <laughs> so something like this all right okay let's see nice now it actually looks really really good beautiful let's put it to 100 because it's very slow then and see let's put it slow now just to see the stresses oh boy oh boy really so something went wrong here i don't know what but something did what i can do here maybe try to connect like a steel bar here but then we don't have okay let's go back and make it something like this i think would make more sense and then this let's see now 94 90 all right we did it let's see now the big one all right all right looking good 96 percent maybe as i already put it steel bars here maybe i will also try to put it in the inside so i will change the cables to steel bars and see if they can hold you know because in reality what we have are columns in steel so the cables are not that real maybe the steel bars can hold enough i don't know let's see let's see so i will first change this to something like this all right and then something like this as well all right let's see okay okay it actually holds so let's try in the, in the middle i don't know if here it will hold but you never know the final one and then let's see it actually worked beautiful now the only thing left is to build trusses in this direction but we cannot do this in this game but still it's already really really good i'm actually very happy with the results okay i just want to do one more thing 
to finish this up. As I said at the beginning of the video, here in the upper board is where the metro passes. My idea is to try to simulate like the electricity cables, you know? So maybe what we can do is something like this and copy it, put it here and then here and then maybe the middle, something like that, then here, here and here here and then like put a cable and connect these bars to the cable it actually does seems like it probably this will not fold because this is not lock in anything we don't have any triangles so this is just like a straight line let's see yep what we can do now let's try fix this first maybe if i do like a, a square and like an x inside but very 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 thin Let's see, something like this maybe, and then copy it to here, and then do the same here. Then put like a rope here, and a rope here, so, okay, maybe we can connect this to this, sorry, this point to this point, and now this point is locked, so we can't rotate, oh yeah beautiful so yeah let's actually do the same but for the other side something like that okay looking good let's see oh yeah so we can do the same for the other ones but i think that has the extremes columns are locked now if we put like a cable the cable will be stable and as these columns in the inside will connect to the stable cable they will probably not move let's try and see all right let's go looking good now oh yeah this is beautiful easy 97 <laughs> I think I will just try one more thing, but I'm almost sure that will not work because as I said, here in the reality we have like a straight line, like a small column here that connects this point to the column down here. So we can try to do something like that. Maybe it will work, I don't know. Let's see. And here as well. Okay. Oh. I'm actually proud we have done it. So now let me just tell you some fun facts about this bridge. It was opened in 1886 so it's kinda old, it has almost 140 years. And if my research is not wrong, at the time it was the biggest bridge of its kind in the entire world, so very impressive. Now, before I tell you the name and location, if you already know it, please pause the video and leave in the comments. I just would like to know how many of you knew this bridge already. And now, the name of this bridge is Don Luis First Bridge, is located in Porto City at the north of Portugal. And as you can see in the real pictures, here in these four inner columns is where we have the trusses. But as I already said before, because this game is only 2D, we are not allowed to build in this direction, so we have that limit. Imitation. But other than that, seems very similar, I guess. By the way, many people think that this bridge was built by Gustav Eiffel, the dude that designed Eiffel Tower, but in reality it was one of his students that designed this bridge. So what do you think of the overall shape? Does it seem close to the reality or not at all? Let me know that in the comments down below. Let me know as well if you think that this bridge is worthy of being on the list of the most beautiful bridge in Europe. And yeah, I think that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe as well if you want to keep up with future releases. Maybe some of them similar to this video or not. Let's see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching and I see you next time. Bye.